All right, we back. I had to get the uh, camera started back, man. I don't know what's going on. They keep going dead. But before the camera shut off, I was talking about uh, uh, Russia dealing with the, uh, in America, dealing with the silicone. Now, uh, Taiwan got about six months worth of uh, stocks concerning uh, chips with silicone. And the silicone, what it does is it uh, uh, helps control the heat, the frequencies on the on the chips when you when you place them on that silicone to where it won't be too hot or too cold. Now those things that, that in cars and uh, computers and cell phones, now it's gonna cost your arm on the leg for those things that got that chip in it with the silicone, or you're not gonna have it at all. Okay, so. The price of that, that silicone and the chip being put on there to where you can control the heat and all that, that's gonna skyrocket. And like I said, Taiwan only got six months. Russia and Ukraine has hit Taiwan via the global economy. Russia and Ukraine are both heavily involved in the supply chain for semiconductors. Taiwanese business could be impacted by these skyrocketing prices for heavy metals and noble gases. But experts say there are enough stockpiled materials to prevent a break in the supply chain. The invasion of Ukraine by Russia has brought chaos to the region and impacted the global economy. The price of oil, gold and crops has risen and analysts fear the conflict could affect the semiconductor supply line as both Ukraine and Russia have big stakes in the silicon industry. The Ukrainian supply of, for example, argon represents more than 70% of the global supply. It also represents a very high proportion of both krypton and xenon. The stores at semiconductor fabs probably have about six months supply. So basically, it won't have a massive effect, but what it will impact is prices. Industry insider Wu Jinrong says his warning is based on Ukraine's crucial supply of noble gases like argon, krypton, and xenon. Meanwhile, a third of the world's supply of the heavy metal palladium comes from Russia. The stocks in Taiwanese semiconductor fabs should be sufficient to avoid a bottleneck, but prices are uncertain. Localized companies might be negatively impacted by rising prices, but there definitely should not be any broken supply chains. Even rising prices should be more of a problem for medium and small semiconductor companies because their purchasing power and bargaining power is slightly weaker than those of large companies. Once worth of uh, stock concerning the silicon, but I got some else to show y'all. When I was talking about that uh, biometric building, he got an article on it. Okay, there you go right there. So America got a biometric lab in Ukraine, which Russia gonna eventually take over, man, which America don't want that to happen, man. See that? There you go, man. And these brothers made me talk about it. They spoke on it, so I wasn't even, <laughs> I was going into something else. But, you know, going back to our uh, Revelation 17 chapter. Go ahead, bro. All right, this is Revelation chapter 17, verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sowest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. Now, I explained about those ten horns earlier in the video, so you have to go back and look. But those ten horns right now are with America and what they're doing concerning Russia. But so Russia is looking at everything and they in survival mode, okay? because they being demonized and everybody's against them, okay? Now, the EU is gonna end up turning on America, okay? So finish that off, bro. It says, and shall make her desolate and naked, mm -hmm. and shall eat her flesh and burn her up, I just like it, and burn her with fire. So the EU is gonna end up shooting nukes on America, okay? But they with America right now. Okay? That's what it is, man. Okay? And like I said, it was 10 of them, but when Portugal and Spain split, and the Netherlands and the UK split, that made it 12. Okay? 
So there you go. And now I believe there's more members in the EU. But in the beginning, that's what it was. It went from 6, 10, and 12. But I think it's more members now. I like 20. See? I said, I seen 27, but uh, it doesn't show. So, the EU, if any, is going to end up burning Babylon the Great, right? Okay? something else but it escaped my thoughts. Well, I mean my thoughts escaped me. I wanted to say something else but my thoughts escaped me. Concerning that. But uh like I was reading like we was reading three weeks ago man concerning Daniel's uh the tenth chapter man the most high got the mind of food man right. he got him man and you can tell his whole ain't demeanor no, ain't no ain't no turning back man and I showed y'all videos to where they were saying food was paranoid man when you look up the word paranoid, man, the etymology online, the word paranoid goes into insane, man. So, if you're looking for a person that's, um, that can push that button, who is in the right mind frame because he's insane right like now. He's paranoid, okay? But, like we always tell y'all, prophecy got to play out. You got to have martial law. You got to have... Uh, the famine of the word. You gotta have uh, uh, cannibalism. You gotta have uh, uh, this mark of the beast, which is the microchip for this place to get destroyed in uh, World War III, right? Things gotta play out, man. Right. Okay? So, what you see going on on the world stage concerning Russia, in America, even Iran, even Iran said that it's uh, a America war against Russia concerning uh, Ukraine. And then and has pointed the finger of blame for the current situation in Ukraine at Washington. The country's supreme leader added that Kiev's suffering is just the latest in a long line of orchestrated events by America. Basically, the U.S. regime creates crises lives off of crises and feeds on various crises in the world. Ukraine is another victim of this policy. Now to get more information on that, we're going to cross live now to Fawad Izadi, Associate Professor at the University of Tehran. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, first, I want to talk about the Iran Supreme Leader's statement that he thinks that the American government and Western countries are to blame for the Ukrainian crisis and much else besides. What do you think is the logic behind that claim? And, you know, Iran has been suffering from aggressive uh, American uh, policies for the last uh, 40 years or so. So the country, the people, the leadership, uh, politicians, ordinary citizens are very much uh, familiar with American aggression. And uh, what he was talking about today was history, the fact that uh, there was a coup in, 19, in uh, 2014 in Kiev, uh, the fact that the Russian uh, minority, the Russian-speaking minority in uh, Ukraine uh, was under a lot of pressure. Uh, the fact that uh, uh, 14,000 people have been killed since 2014, most of them uh, victims of aggression that's coming from the other side. And if the Americans uh, did not orchestrate uh, the coup in 2014, the thing, things would be much, much more different. Uh, we remember uh, John McCain coming to the Maidan in Kiev, people like Chris Murphy, even uh, John Kerry, uh, Victoria Nuland, who is uh, now uh, the uh, political director at the State Department, uh, sort of uh, uh, engaging in a very uh, open uh, intervention in internal affairs of another country. Uh, he said that uh, obviously Iran does not uh, support uh, wars. Wars generally end up in uh, civilian deaths. That's not something that Iran supports. But Iran realizes who is at, as, at fault, and it's the United States that has started this, this problem. 
What are your thoughts on the supply of weapons to Ukraine coming from the West? Do you think this is going to shift the conflict? You know, uh, generally, uh, the Americans uh, uh, engage in this type of uh, activities in the past uh, in different countries. Uh, they uh, want to fight their enemies uh, using other people's soldiers. Uh, and um, this is actually one of the things that uh, Iran's leader uh, talked about uh, today, that uh, relying on the West and uh, sort of uh, accepting Western promises is a big mistake. Guess what else? You got Nicaragua, Venezuela, and uh, Cuba with Russia, man. Right? If these Americans can truly stop Russia, why did they stop? Uh, uh, why did they take down Assad that's over there in the Syria? Man? Okay? Why did they take down the Syrian president, Syrian president Assad? Because America wanted to take Assad down, but they couldn't because Russia back. See that? Hey, man. These Russians are Edomites, man. Right. And the most high, y'all must know shot, got the bar on point. And I'll say this right here. The bar ain't even yawn yet, man. He ain't even yawn yet, man. Y'all ain't seen nothing. The bar ain't even yawn yet, man. When he stand up on his two legs, when that bar stand up on his two legs, he coming to America. Pursuing the Ezekiel 38 and 11, man. The unwalled villages. So, what we had? Uh, I, I had read uh, Revelation 17 and 16. You finished that off? Okay. All uh, right. What I want is uh, going back to Matthew. Is uh, whoever got Matthew? Eight and thirteen. Yeah, eight and thirteen. Read some of that. Let me see what we got. All right, Matthew 13 and eight. And 14, bro. Matthew 8 and 14. And when Yahushua was come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother lay and sick of, of a fever. Okay. So Alright, go ahead, bro. Read it one more time for me again. Alright, Matthew 8 and 14. And when Yahushua yeah. was coming to Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever. Okay, so Peter's wife's mother was sick of a fever. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Continue on. Continue on. Matthew 8 and 15. And he touched her hand, and the fever left her. Okay, go ahead. And she arose and ministered unto them. Okay, go ahead. 16. When even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with demons. So, they brought many, they brought many to him that was possessed with demons. So you had people, okay, just like you had people, just like you got people today, okay, you had people possessed with them spirits, man, in them, okay? Now, what I want you to do is look up the word in the blue letter, is look up the word possessed. Because until this word is into you and you get set in order, these people got, these people are possessed with demons, man. Okay? Read for an elder. Huh? Read yeah, for yeah, blue letter. For. Let the Greek say it first, call a number, Greek, and then whatever number it is. Okay, go ahead. Right. Uh, to be under the power of a demon. To be under the power of a demon. So these people that you see walking around here, they are up, are up under the power of a demon. Right? See? See that? Continue on reading. They go down to uh, 16. Read all the way down to 16. Okay. Right. And he casted out the spirit with his word and heal all that were sick. See? So, matter of fact, look up the word word right there. Look up the word word right there. It 
some key in there. Like he, uh, like he, like he, uh, let me see. Log us. You might want to go to the desktop. You got the desktop. It's better with the desktop. Uh, Can you go back out? Yeah. All right, get, get that for me, bro. I'm going right. to show him. Bro. What were what we looking at? This is 16 word in Matthew 8 16. See? See how it is now? Make that bigger so I can see. Alright. Go down. Is that high card? Oh. No, I just want to go down. Go down. Make it smaller. Now look it up for me. They gonna look it up for me. Y'all bear with us. I was trying to get the brother white right in the blue though. Alright. Alright. All right, this is the uh, Greek of the letter word. Right. Logos. Logos. Means of speech, a word, earlier by a living force, embodiment of a conception or ideal, what someone has said. Uh, what I wanted is something else about it. Gotta be the doctrine or teaching. Doctrine or teaching. So what I wanted to find out is the doctrine of teaching. This doctrine and this teaching, by the power of the most high, it was able to cast the demon out of the people. So you gotta continue in the right doctrine, man. And Lord willing, he grants you that power. See? But you gotta bob and weave, man. So read that particular uh uh Matthew 8, 14, all the way down to uh, 16. Read that from me again. All right, all right. All right Matthew. Uh, Read it slow so they can catch it, bro. Fine. Matthew 8, 14. And when Yahweh was coming to Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother lay and sick of a fever. And he touched her hand, and the fever left her. And she arose and ministered unto them. When the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with demons. Okay, possessed with demons, man. Okay, go ahead. And he casted out the spirit with his word. By his doctrine and his teaching. Go ahead. And heal all that were sick. See that? See that? Like I said, going to uh, 2 Peter 2 and 20, man. Is the word, man. You know, it's the word, it's the knowledge of Yahweh Shema Rashad that cleans you up and sets you in order, man. And them spirits see that. Okay? But like I said, according to the Bible, if the word of Yahweh Shema Rashad ain't cleans you up, then you possess with demons, man. Uh. Okay? That's what it is with these people out here. When you're talking to them, Good. When you're going through your daily life, when you're at work, when you just, you know what I'm saying? You're watching a movie, you what doing this. These people got demons on them, man. Okay? These people got demons on them, man. Even when your old lady is acting funny, she got spirits on them. Okay? All right. Because we all have uh, hit our women with the scriptures. All right. You know, we know if they believe and if they don't believe. But understanding what we learn today and what I'm teaching through the strength of power, y'all by Shema Shah, if they don't receive this word and the most I don't set them in court and clean them up, they got spirits on them. Uh -huh. So you need to be aware of that. Okay? Uh -huh. It's a real. It's a real deal. Sure <laughs> you know? But she can be saved through you. Child, you know, Lord willing. Uh -huh. Okay? But uh, 
Well, I say get.